Hello, I want to give you a quick demo today about how to run Enterprise Vault Deployment Scanner. Deployment Scanner captures environmental information and can be used to check prerequisites before you install Enterprise Vault or any of its components. It can also assist with troubleshooting and for support issues when you're dealing with Symantec. It's also a good idea to run this before you do an installation or an upgrade. Here we see the launching of Deployment Scanner on a machine that's already got Enterprise Vault installed. You might do this if you're planning to upgrade or introduce any new components in order to check if they're supported or not. You should run this as the Enterprise Vault admin account. Otherwise, you may run into issues with permissions for some of the tests that are performed. On the first page of the Deployment Scanner window, we have two checkboxes. The first that can be selected if we just want to scan the current server. If we don't do this, as we'll see in a second, you can then enter the details of other aspects of the environment, for example, file servers you want to archive from, exchange servers to target, SharePoint servers, and so on. The second checkbox is whether you want to create a CAB file to send to semantic support. I'll leave these two boxes unchecked and move on in the wizard. So on the next two pages of Deployment Scanner, you can enter information regarding SQL servers in your environment, Exchange servers, SharePoint servers, and on the second page, file servers, shares on the file servers, and also Centara devices. I've already pre-filled in all this information for my environment, and I'm just going to click on Next now. Deployment Scanner will run the tests on the server and all the other locations that we specified. This sometimes takes a few minutes, so just bear with it while it goes through. One of the reasons for entering, for example, a SharePoint server name would be to have Deployment Scanner check the server for prerequisites before installing EV components on it. The checks will help make sure that you have all the prerequisites installed, that the service pack levels and all of the software versions are compatible with Enterprise Vault. In recent versions of Enterprise Vault, the Deployment Scanner is run as part of the installation. But as well as that, it's best practice to run it before any installation or upgrade so you can ensure the environment configuration is correct. It'll make the installation go much more smoothly. You really don't want to start the installation, then have to stop and go back and fix missing prerequisites. Once the wizard has run, a report file is displayed on the screen. This contains a summary with links in it to more detailed information regarding the findings of the scan. The report is also stored on your EV server. I'll show you where that is now. That's the folder that contains the report right there. There's a handy link at the bottom which shows you as well the name of the file that it's saved the report into. When we're looking at this report, you'd normally focus on the warnings and the errors. At least, they're the first place to go and investigate. Here we see a few of them. You'll notice that there are good links to reference and troubleshooting material to help fix or address each of the problems that have been discovered. The report's HTML based, so you can jump around to the different sections, like I did just then. Here we can see one that one of my file servers doesn't have the .NET framework installed at the correct version. Some of the warnings you can ignore. For example, this particular one about the Domino server version I can ignore because I don't do Domino server archiving. Deployment Scanner is updated with more and more checks and more and more prerequisite information with each version of Enterprise Vault, so it's very worthwhile running from time to time and using the latest version. Also ensure that you are running the appropriate Deployment Scanner version for what you're going to install or upgrade to. For example, if you're going to upgrade to 10.0.3, run the Deployment Scanner from 10.0.3. In summary then, you can run Deployment Scanner on an existing server to check for upgrade prerequisites. You can run it on a new server to make sure that 
the prerequisites are already installed and the versions of software are supported. You can use it to capture information for support or for your own troubleshooting. And finally, you can use it to check on prerequisites for upgrades or new components that you want to add. I hope that showing you how to run the deployment scanner is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.